Michael Brockers has officially been cut from the squad. Let's Talk Lions. Welcome back to an all-new episode here of Let's Talk Lions. Thank you for hanging out, for liking the video, commenting, subscribing, all the things that YouTubers say, that I say, that we say together. A word hit, it looks like last night, Thursday night, uh, I woke up to it this morning and I was like, well, gotta go take a shower and be semi-presentable for this information. Uh, Michael Brockers officially parting ways with the Detroit Lions. Now, in doing this, the Lions will get back, will save $10 million worth of cap space, which is a huge deal. First and foremost, I want to say it's the right move. It is. And I love Michael Brockers. I have, I loved bringing him here, having that leadership role on our defensive line up front uh, with the boys. What we saw last year was he only played in six games. And from what I understand, remember and look back, he didn't play after the after the bye. He played one game after the bye. And so what this tells me, what this should tell you and tell us, is that where we are in the rebuild, this is good. This is great news. This is we trust the young squad that we have up front. Michael Brockers was, bought, was brought here to be a leader. Brockers was brought here in order to really help have any sort of stability up front in a veteran. And he was excellent. He was excellent at it. It was a big deal bringing him here. Uh, he was the oldest guy on the squad. I think when he came here, he was 30 years old, 31 years old, which is really rough news because I'm his age. So, you know, that just kind of hurts when you think about it like that. Um, but no, Brockers was brought here in order to be a leader up front, to have some sort of stability, to teach the young guys, and he could play. But this is very comforting in regards to where we are in the rebuild. This says, hey, we trust the young guys. We trust the draft process that we have gone through. We trust where we are in this rebuild. We no longer need that aspect of it where you're bringing in older guys, veterans, in order to keep some sort of stability and keep the team together. This is this young squad is growing together they are successfully gluing together meshing so we don't need that aspect of a rebuild and that's huge that's what we need I love Brockers I love what he brought here I love his mentality love the dog in him but as we saw man he really started to pitter patter out and wasn't used much last year and it's for a reason it's because we trust Ali McNeil. It's because we trust Aiden Hutchinson, James Houston stepping up, Josh Pascal stepping up. We trust the guys up front. Bugs. Like, you don't need that veteran presence. So, being able to cut Brockers, it was a matter of time. We all knew it was coming. I was expecting it this offseason. Had to happen. Uh, and it's good news for us as fans. It's good news for the rebuild. And you save $10 million in cap space that we can use elsewhere. So... That is the news this morning. Thank you for hanging out. As always, drop thoughts in the comments, and I'll catch you next time on Let's Talk Lions.